Welcome back everyone. This is the final part of the series where we'll cover the actual booking process based on the user selection. Let's get started. Let's create the, create the bookings collection for when a class is booked. So in order to do this, use the existing component where the component is going to be very simple. It will show a firm booking information. Use this theme, let's call it confirm booking. So here, when the user clicks a choice chip, it will show that confirm booking widget um, and then they have to press submit to confirm the booking. You can expand on this by, by you know, having a Stripe checkout to add the payment and things like that, right? But you know, this is a very simple app. You can add that at your own time. So let's quickly edit this widget, confirm booking. What I would love to show here is date of the choice chip that the user has selected. Just to double check, just to you know, reconfirm they have selected the right time. Um, so in order to do this, we need to create a parameter. So let's create a parameter of um, time selected. It's going to be required. It's going to be a date time. And then we also need information about class. So the other um, parameters we need are the class ref and then also the owner ref, so owner of the class. We don't need the fourth one, if you remember, uh, which is the the book uh, the attendees ref because that's the authenticated user. So let's go to let's go to user confirm. Call this. This is going to be the time selected. We're just going to confirm this here. Let's call it. Let's quickly amend this to a date and a time. So here, let's just create an action. Let's delete the existing action of the widget. Here, the action is create a collection. Um, create document of bookings where the attendee is basically the user authenticated users reference. We're going to add the class reference, which is based on a component. The owner reference similarly is going to be passed in. And the time of booking is also going to be passed in. And then when, once that's done, dismiss the bottom sheet and then navigate to the home page. I just do that. So going back to the class detail page, when the user selects a choice chip, we want to show the confirm booking component. So once we've created the uh, the widget here to confirm the booking, we need to pass this information when we select the choice chip to go to the component. The problem with this is that the widget of the choice chip actually uses strings only. So you can see it's a list of string, but the input required for confirm booking component is time. So what we need to do is convert this list of uh, convert the string into a time element. So to do this, we need to create a custom function as well. So let's just call this string to time. And what we need to do here is the output has to be of date time. So argument one's input, it's going to be of our argument. And the argument number two will be date arg, which is the date selected based on the calendar's widget. So it's going to be date time widget. And then similarly, it's going to be our widget of date string. So what we need to do here is Coco pilot. And what we need to do is output the combination of date from date argument and arg, arg an our argument of the format HHMM format, which is what the format of the choice chip is. Now press save, copy, copy function, save function, and let's test it out. So it's okay to be working. Now let's go back to this choice chip. So when we press each individual choice chip, the time selected is going to be based on the custom function we just created, string to time. And the our argument is going to be the widget state of the choice chip. The date argument is going to be the widget state of the calendar date. And then no further changes. What we also need to pass in is the class reference. So what class are we booking? In addition, the host reference. So here the host reference is going to be the class's document owner reference. When we show the bottom sheet, it will show the time here of the booking. So we'll just create the. So when that's done, we're going to create the document and dismiss the bottom sheet and navigate back to the home page. So let's test this out to see if it works. So let's book a class for next Monday. So Monday, let's book a class for 3 p.m. 11th of September, 3 p.m. Confirm booking. And here we can, let's go back to our Firebase to see whether booking has been created. So let's go to bookings. And here we can see all the information of the booking is created. 
and now to double check whether this class is no longer available for booking tomorrow let's double check this here you can see here 3 p.m is no longer available perfect so i hope this session was useful for you where you're able to set custom availability between monday to sunday and a attendee can book individual classes and this individual classes are subsequently filtered out from available time slots remember to comment like or subscribe for more classes and sessions on Flutterflow.